It's day two of AES. I'm here on the Antelope booth with Marcel and he's going to show me through the Orion 32, which looks pretty impressive, so do tell. Thank you very much and thanks for coming Sound on Sound. Um, we've got three new products for AES this year. We've got a 10MX atomic clock, which marries together the technology from our 10M and our Trinity clock. Not quite as many outputs as a Trinity, but for most people's purposes, it's going to serve just fine as a master clock. And uh, it includes an atomic clock, a smaller module, a smaller oscillator, so we were able to fit it in a one space rack. So we've basically been able to, for most users, shrink down a technology which required four, spa four rack spaces down to one at a much lighter, uh, lighter weight and saving people some money along the way. So um, it's got a software control app which you can flash to in a moment here and um, it, uh, it's uh, performing very, very well, actually outperforming our old technology in our high level demos with various end users who have used our stuff for a long time. So we're very excited about this new uh, clock entry. After our several years without a new clock, this is a pretty exciting thing for us. Um, also new is the new Orion 32 Plus, which adds to the Orion Thunderbolt. Uh, a really cool feature with the monitor output is you can hold one of these buttons and now you have front panel, front panel monitor volume control as well as software control and mm -hmm. we're designing new apps for all, for all of this. So apps that looks like, look like these for the Orion Studio, which I'll talk about in a moment. So we're going to have uh, new control apps as well uh, for all of our products eventually that will populate the entire line. The other thing that's new is uh, uh, software has been updated for a new DSP that's housed in the Orion 32 Plus. We now have things like our new Oriverb, which is a hardware sounding new uh, reverb that we announced a couple months ago, first for Zen, which now is uh, embedded in the, the uh, FPGA of the Orion 32 Plus. Also monitor mixers, EQ compressors, and an advanced routing uh, matrix. The brand new product on the interface side is again a marriage between technologies involving the Zen Studio and the Orion. We now have the Orion Studio, which has Thunderbolt and USB, 12 mic line inputs with four DIs on the front. We have two of those uh, Pier 2 level D to A converters um, with AB switching. So we could switch these top monitors here from Amphion with the Lipinskis that we have positioned here at the booth very easily with the one button uh, push. Gain control for the mic breeze is also enhanced and just a point and shoot and turn up the mic inputs. So that's also very cool. Then we have built in reamping outs for guitar, bass players. Um, it creates an instrument level output of any signal that's been recorded at line level. And now these have real transformer outputs, which really mimic the pickups on a guitar with the, with the coil of a transformer. We have 16 outputs on DB25 connectors on the back of the Orion Studio. So guys doing 16 channel summing can now use a multi-purpose hybrid interface for uh, their uh, studio needs as well. Hey. So you've been very busy, so when are all these available? Uh, the 10MX is shipping in a couple weeks, around November 15th, and uh, as is the Orion 32 Plus, and then around the first week of December, first of December, we'll be seeing the Orion Studio. Do you have any pricing on those yet? Uh, US dollars, the 10MX is $59.95, the uh, Orion 32 Plus is $34.95. We're still going to continue at $27.95 with the original Orion for now. And the Orion Studio comes in at $27.95. Of course, we still have the Zen Studio at $22.95 for the mobile guys. Thanks very much. Thank you, Paul.